Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? I am at the Boardwalk Resort and today I want to show you guys the little hidden gem that is actually a brewery on Disney World property. A lot of people don't even know it exists but it is here at the Boardwalk Resort. So let's go do this. And here it is, Big River Grill and Brewing Works. I am so excited. I hear they have fantastic food along with some amazing beers and we're going to try both. Interesting fact though, this restaurant is not on the My Disney Experience app. So you can just come in and see if they have any open spots or you can take a little seat at the bar. As you can see, as soon as you walk in, you can actually look at all the different brewing machinery they have. And it's right behind these glass windows on display for you. And they notice they keep it very clean. It's very nice. But this is the brew house. There's the uh, fermentation. I don't know if I said that right, but those are the fermentation tanks. And then, of course, all the different brews that are on tap right behind the bar. So this is the beer menu. They have nine different types of beers that they brew in-house and you can actually get a flight and the flight comes with the Signature 4, so the Southern Flyer, the Rocket Red, the Carousel of Hops, and the Midland. And then you get to pick two other ones. The uh, Beer of the Week is actually a peach beer and I'm excited to try that and also this strawberry rhubarb sour. I think that's gonna be my six. And bada boom, there they are. I don't know which one I should go with first. I mean, the strawberry rhubarb sour is definitely calling my name. Oh yeah, we're going with the strawberry rhubarb first. Ooh, I like it. Very good. Since we went with something a little sweeter, I might as well hop over to something a little hoppy. The Carousel of Hops. It's very hoppy. At the rate that I'm going, I'm gonna drink all my beer before my food gets here. So we're gonna stop for a second and we're gonna look at the menu and I'll tell you what I ordered. So here is the menu. We got starters, salads, soups, sandwiches, the main dishes, the burgers, and the desserts. I went for the meatloaf because meatloaf and beer go together very well. But I was also thinking about the habanero chicken or the Kobe beef burger. But like I said, meatloaf and beer, you can't beat that combination. So it's very interesting to point out that the whole flight only cost $8.99 and a regular beer can cost anywhere from $6.99 to $7.99 for a 16 ounce. So I feel like the flight is the way to go because you get a little taste of everything. Another fun fact about the brew house here is that they do not sell anything that is fried. They have no fried food, which is kind of cool because you know what I mean? Like they're like skipping out, no fryers, but we got brewery. And now let's get back to the beers. I think I'm gonna go with the Midland, an English brown ale. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, that one is very good. I like that one. So far my favorite. Oh yeah, oh good aftertaste. 
Oh, look at that. They're in the back changing out the kegs. That's pretty cool. Or they're filling the kegs. Yeah, I guess they're filling the kegs. Wow. I'm not sure which one's going to be my next victim. The Southern Flyer, the Rocket Red, or the Treatment of the Week, which is the Pear or Peach. So I guess I'm going to go any, mini, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let him go. Any, mini, miny, mo. This is the Peach Beer. It's the Beer of the Week or the Treatment of the Week. So let's give it a go, huh? Wow, that is delicious. Wow, I don't know which one's better now, the Midland or that one. Oh, well we got two more to go, so I don't wanna make to see which one's the best one yet. I gotta try them all first. Tank to table, that's how I like it. And strictly driven by a love of beer and a passion for people. So the treatment of the week, the peach beer, was actually a peach tea drink, a peach tea beer. And like I said, that one was really good. And now I think I'm going for the Southern Flyer. Haha, <laughs> I got you there. You thought I was going for the Rocket Red, didn't you? So this, the Southern Flyer, is one of the core brands and it's available all year long. So uh, let's give it a go, eh? Much too good for children. And I guess that leaves you, Rocket Red, all by yourself. I'm a lot of love. I'm so lost without you, Rocket Red. I hope you're delicious. Very good. Just as I finished up, look at this. Oh yes, the meatloaf and the potato chips. I like it. So here it is, the meatloaf. It looks really, really good. It usually comes with the cheddar mashed potatoes, but I'm sure you guys already know I don't like cheese, so I opted for the potato chips instead. And it comes with a little mixed vegetables, but I have to say, that is a big portion. Looks very good. Alright, here we go. Look at this. It looks so good. And I'll let you guys know, because I am a meatloaf enthusiast, I've had lots of meatloaf in my day, so I'll give you an honest opinion on this. Amazing. This gravy is what seals the deal. It's like a sweet gravy, and I love it. I really do. It is really, really good. Really good meatloaf. The veggies are pretty good, too. A mixture of white beans, green beans, and carrots. And potato chips, I like them a lot, but they do kind of taste retail-ish. Usually, I like to eat my meatloaf with mashed potatoes, but since they have the cheddar mash, which I bet are probably really good, I'm gonna try a little meatloaf potato chip. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Maybe I'm gonna do this. Oh, that did not work. Maybe like this. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Now I'm gonna make a little meatloaf potato chip sandwich. Put its hat on. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. I gotta say, that meatloaf definitely ranks up there. Might be the best meatloaf on Disney property. I mean, there's not many meatloaf selections anyway, but wow, that is pretty good. It, it tops up there with Walt's meatloaf in Disneyland, which they don't have here at Disney World, but I like it a lot. Not too bad on the pricing. So it came to 26.16 with my annual pass discount, 
and I gotta say that was very very delicious plus the flight of beer was only $8.99 you can't beat that that was delightfully delicious I'm sorry I had to take my glasses off because they're fogging up but honestly I really liked it and they actually have locations off Disney World property too so you might be able to have one of those close to you and I really did like it very good and it's actually not that expensive it's not pricey at all so uh, that's gonna do it for me I hope you enjoyed I hope you had a lot of fun and I uh, love the life you live we'll see you next time bye